And while much of the focus is on the race for Florida governor, there are several other key races that are demanding attention in South Florida and across the country. Among those contests, several that could change the makeup of the school board in Broward County. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live at a polling place in Davie with more on how the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School has really impacted the uh, turnout and also the energy in this, these races, right, Joan? It really has, you know, usually the school board is an afterthought in these races, but the Parkland tragedy has put this whole issue into the national spotlight, school safety, gun violence, and of course, mental health. Now there are five seats up and it could determine the future of this school district. Parkland dad Kevin Muller is supporting three school board candidates with deep ties to the Stoneman Douglas mass shooting last February. He wants change. Thank you. That's what drove Lori Alhadef, whose daughter was killed in the massacre, and Ryan Petty, who also lost his daughter, to run for the school board. I want to make sure our kids get a high quality education like they should. Dr. Richard Mendelson, a Douglas grad and former teacher whose good friend Coach Aaron Feist was killed in the mass shooting, shielding students from the bullets, is trying to unseat Lori Levinson, who is running for her third term. That race has been confrontational at times with police and BSO called out the polling places during early voting. What happened at Parkland can never be undone, but we can ensure that we work to mitigate the threat that it could ever happen again. And I'm looking forward to having four more years on the school board to keep moving our students. Lori Aladef is in a three-way race for District 4, running against Michael Kotler and Tennille Doe DeCosti. It's not just about safety, it's about our, our children reading at a proficient level by third grade. Petty is trying to unseat incumbent Donna Korn and beat newcomer Elijah Manley. Residents are also being asked to vote on a tax issue to raise money to pay for teacher salaries and school police. We need to do something with our schools. Uh, education falters in Florida, so does every business in Florida. I don't believe that we should be issuing any more money until we know where the $800 million in bonds were going. Now, once again, five seats are up. Now, if one candidate gets more than 50% of the vote, it is decided they are elected. If not, the top two vote getters will go to a runoff in November. We'll have all the results later tonight. Reporting in Davie, Joe Murray, CBS 4 News.